Peaches and welcome to today's video. Today we have another episode of Better at Home. As you guys know, I'm a vegetarian and I try to be pretty vegan whenever I can and I like to make healthier things at home. So one of my go-to recipes, something that's so easy to just make for dinner at night but also to meal prep is spaghetti squash. If you don't know what spaghetti squash is, it's just like this big yellow thing that basically is a great substitute for pasta. That being said, I like to be gluten-free whenever I can, and a lot of noodles that are gluten-free are not always so great, but spaghetti squash is amazing. This became one of our staples about a year ago. We started making these and we found how easy it really is. This is also a recipe you can find at a lot of restaurants. A lot of different restaurants will offer a spaghetti squash dish. I thought it would be interesting to make something that I often order out at home. So in today's video, we're going to be making spaghetti squash and a marinara sauce all from scratch. They do have pre-made spaghetti squash, but it's never as good as the real thing. Don't buy the dried versions. Don't buy like the random already done pre-packaged versions. Buy the real thing. It's super simple. is we're gonna cut off the top and the bottom. That can be a little challenging, but... You microwave it, you poke holes in it and microwave it for a few minutes. It's not easy to cut. It's not that easy. Yeah. Oh God, okay, so once you've cut both sides, the top and the bottom off, you're gonna cut it in half. Once it's split into two, take one half and go around the seated part with a knife and just try to get like all the edges and then just take a spoon and like scrape it out. So as you can see, I'm scraping with the spoon. You can also use a fork, but I think a spoon works better. And then you just dump that in the trash and then you repeat it on the other side as you can see Matt's doing. And this is what it will look like and that's how you know it's done. You can bake the seeds as well if you wanted to, if you like how spaghetti squash seeds taste, but I'm not a huge seed fan. But anyways, it's pretty simple. Little oil. So then you're going to take the two halves that now have no seeds and pour some oil. No specific amount, just enough that's going to cover the whole surface area. So then you're just going to use your hands, or I guess if you have a different tool that works as well as your hands, you could use that. But just spread it out evenly so everything that you can see is covered, and then you're going to put it in the oven face down. At 20 minutes, you flip it. Just in case you missed it, he said that you put it in the oven for 20 minutes, and now we have it at 400 degrees. You can do 425 if you want it to cook a little faster, but once those 20 minutes are up, then you're going to take it out of the oven and you're just going to flip them. So you want to make sure that they cook on both sides to get an even cook all the way through. As you can see here, it's still really yellow, and we're you'll know it's done once it gets a little more crispy brown looking and then you're just gonna put it back in the oven and add another 20 minutes so it's a total of 40 minutes while that spaghetti squash is cooking the rest of the time we're gonna take our cherry tomatoes and we're gonna cut them all in half and we're gonna put them in our pot so that we can start on our sauce it's super easy we don't need too many ingredients and I prefer the taste of cherry tomatoes you could use regular tomatoes too or canned tomatoes whatever you have and I like to cut them, I just feel like it makes the juice like explode a little more. I don't know. Well, so pretty. Now that we have our tomatoes in our pot, we're gonna do a nice coating of oregano. Just eyeball it so it looks nice and even. Then we're gonna add our garlic. Now, I'm not obsessed with garlic flavor, so I only do one clove, but if you love the taste of garlic, you can add more. And I just dice it up so it, the flavor is distributed evenly through the sauce instead of just having like clumps of garlic, but you do whatever you'd like as long as your garlic gets in the pot. Next up, we have our basil. So you guys know I have a flourishing basil plant and you just take a few leaves and you just cut it up again so that it's more even instead of just like three random big leaves this way if it's cut you'll have it in every bite 
And that's what we're going for. And basil adds that nice little fresh goodness. So how delicious does that look? Look at those colors. Add a pinch of salt or maybe two and then put it onto a medium heat. You don't want it to cook too fast and burn at a high temperature. And once it's on the stove, make sure that you add some olive oil to really add that liquidy, more sauce consistency. And you want to put that on the stove the same time you take your spaghetti squash out so that by the time you're done turning it into pasta, it's ready. All right, so Matt is working on stirring the sauce while it's on the heat just to keep those flavors moving. I'm I'm just gonna take a fork, normal size fork, and I'm just going to literally scrape along the sides, and it's just gonna fall right off the skin, and like, look, it just turns right into noodles. It's so easy. It just goes in the oven, you guys saw, super, super simple. So this is an overhead view just so you guys can see how simple it really just comes apart. I like to get the bulk of the center and put that in my bowl and use like it's a little bit easier. And then I like to try to get the sides and get every little drop because it's that delicious and I want to get as much as I possibly can. And I don't like food waste. Who likes food waste? Hopefully this will be about three to four meals. And so dinner for the two of us tonight. And then again, tomorrow we can have it for lunch, both of us. Look how much we're getting. And that's just like a normal size spaghetti squash. This is so delicious. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have two adult serving sizes and we have like a lot of extra, so it's we definitely feed a family of four. I really enjoy it. So this we're gonna put in our fridge, and then we're gonna take our sauce. We started the sauce right as we started scraping, and it was a perfect time. And we're just gonna pour that. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. Oh, that is good. Wow. Really good. It's really simple. You just pour it all into a pot and put it on the stove. Great flavor. Great freshness. It is so fresh. Very inexpensive. Very simple. You can totally top it with cheese. You can top it with basil. You can top it with whatever you want but um, we're gonna add some burrata to it because burrata is amazing. Oh yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay, so good, right? Oh, I think no. this is the best spaghetti squash I've ever had. All right, so that was our super simple, very quick, very easy spaghetti squash at home. Don't go out and pay for it, guys. Like, it is so simple to do and you get a great quantity, very affordable and very simple, quick, it's done in an hour. Yeah. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe down below to see more of us. And also don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we post. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.